Welcome back traders. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create an alert within TradingView using Trends Toolkit. First off, verify always before creating the alert actually within the alert system that your settings within Trend Pro and TO panel are set up to exactly how you want them to be set up for the alert to trigger. That means if you're looking for a buy signal, the next buy signal, or the next buy movement, make sure that your direction is set up for buy. And if you're looking for the next sell signal or, or short signal, for example, uh, make sure that your settings are set up uh, so that your direction is set for sell. That way your alert is set up correctly. On top of that, make sure that if you are going to use AI mode, that is that it is enabled. And if you're not going to use AI mode and you're going to base your uh, uh, alert off of your signals with sensitivity, then make sure it is disabled so that it doesn't override your signals. That being said as well, if you're going to use any of the uh, take profit alerts for Trend Pro, make sure that your AI mode is set up as the take profit uh, values are triggered by the AI mode uh, setting. So that being said, once you have your settings in place, you can either right click anywhere on your chart and click on add alert, or you can go over to the right side where you see this alarm clock icon Go ahead and click on it, and in the top right corner, you'll have the Create Alert icon, which you'll click again. Go to your conditions and either choose TB Pro or TO Panel. In this example, we'll use TB Pro for the next Buy Alert. As you can see, these are all the rest of the conditions that we have here. So for the next Buy Alert, make sure that in your options, you click on Once Per Bar Close. That way, your uh, alert actually gets triggered at the correct time and that it's accurate. And then you can also check if you want to have your alert to be open-ended, which essentially just means that you're going to continuously get the, ne the, the next buy signal every time it, it uh, is triggered. You'll continue to get those alerts for essentially forever. Um, if you don't want that and you just want it within the next day or so, then you can of course change it to not be open-ended and have an expiration date. Then make sure that you have the alert actions set up to exactly how you want them to be, whether that's through notification on your app, uh, your TradingView app, sent through email, or even sent uh, via SMS. Now you can also have your alert name be buy or trend buy or something like that. Uh, and then you'll be able to receive that information in the correct way. Go ahead and click on create alert and everything is set up. Something to also uh, note is that this signal right here, well, excuse me, this alert right here is set up with the current settings that we had in place when we created the alert. These, uh, This current uh, alert that you have just barely set up, if you were to change the settings over here now to not have AI mode, that will not uh, disrupt this alert as this alert was set up with the previous settings before this before your settings were changed. So. That is something to also take into consideration. And uh, that is exactly how you create the alert for TB Pro. It's just a little bit different for uh, creating alert for the TO panel. You'll just go to TO panel, set up what condition you want it to, to create for. And then again, once per bar close, make it open-ended if you'd like to, create an alert name, and then go ahead and click create. That is it for now, guys. Good luck and create your alerts correctly and in this form, and you'll have no problems. That is all for now. See you on the inside.